This video is on the Style Wizard settings. And when you first log into Style Wizard, you will see all of these individual setting areas. So if you want to customize the colors for every single area on your site, you can do that. Um, you can customize the font that you use, the size, and this will be for the body. Uh, you can change the background setting, the layout, whether it's wide or boxed. If you have a background image that you want, you can upload that here. And when you click on upload an image, it will take you to your media library. And let's just take a look. So tagline, you can set the background color and the same for headlines. So you can go through here and set the size that you want the fonts to be for each of the headline tags. H1 is the largest and H5 is the smallest. You can set the line colors and the background colors. Same for headings. Okay, here's a whole lot you can you can just go nuts on. So this is the whole background. You can set the colors and fonts and font colors for the call now button. So every call now button would have these settings. Top menu. So you can see you've got an awful lot of choices here slider, the background color, and the button, button font color. So you can customize every single area of the, the site. So if you have a client that has um, specific colors for their business, you can set it up for them that way. This is the color settings that are currently on this site and I'm going to apply a new one with the style section and I'm going to apply style wizard so that is now changing all of the colors throughout the website and we'll come over here and refresh And it didn't change these things because I overwrote them with settings in um, other areas on the site. So if I wanted to change all of these to match the new theme, I would go back to the, um, the page settings and change those. And if you have a if you go through and you do all the editing in here and you like what you've done, uh, you will also need to give it a, a style name and you can save your style and export it so that when you set up a new site, you'll have all of these settings already and you only need to do it once. And the next video will be on analytics.